This is an example of a fairly complicated compound spiral staircase. If we go back to Power Code first, you can see it in the Power Code format. You can see the, the staircase is based on a, on a compound spiral. The main entrance is here in the staircase winding in a clockwise fashion. Not a trivial thing for any modeler to achieve. But it's possible with most modelers, but with Interspace we think you'll see this is particularly easy. Best way to work with extrusions is with filled polys. You make it nice and easy to select. I've filled this staircase beforehand. We'll copy all those over into Interspace. You can see we've already got the plan view there. If I pull the layer in, I've got a layer called stairs. We're going to use that. And then let's paste our polys in. Polys are then selectable. In 2D or 3D. Polys are special objects in space. They appear as both three-dimensional and two-dimensional, hence they're selectable in both, both windows. We're using the extrude tool for this operation. And fixed interactive. Fixed will give us a, a, a uniform extrusion every time we choose that tool. And we have height above floor, which we're going to set to 150, which is our riser height. And we've also got the ability within there to add a step value. Step value means every time we click to extrude, it will add that step value to our height of a floor. You can see how easy it potentially is to make a stair. Set material to veneer and click on our first tread and apply. We'll see as we go around. Picking each one and applying. That step value is being added each time we apply. And we're building our staircase. Let's move that across a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Zoom in. We keep going, you can see each step is being added with each apply. Step is being created. Zoom out a little bit just to see that last one. And you can see we have created a very complicated spiral staircase in a matter of seconds. We could of course now continue to go on and add the uh, the other aspects to that staircase. But uh, that is sufficient I think to show you the principle of interactive step in extrude. Let's just now finish off this uh, staircase arrangement by uh, placing in the, the curved walls and as before copy the fills and take them over into interspace. Just to ensure they're on the ground floor and paste. You see the fills appear in 3D and 2D on the ground floor. Let's pick up the extrude tool. It's already set to white and we've set to a height of three and a half meters which is about 12 foot for Americans. And let's take the, the first extrude and apply see that, what's that, a big wall that takes us through to the second story. And we'll set the next extrude to two and a half meters, which is more or less the floor height of the first floor, and drop that line. So there are our two curved walls. We're now going to drop in the floor on the, the first floor, because we have the the ability to read in fills and they appear as solid, we can actually take this ground floor, this first floor rather, and drop a fill in, copy that fill as before, over to interspace and on the first floor, I've already got a layer called floors which is two and a half meters high, and simply paste and our floor is dropped into place. Simple as that. Uh, you
you could extrude that if you wish to give it some uh, some thickness. But again, for visualization, that's probably more than adequate. One last final thing, just to, to tidy up and finish off, we can go into painter mode. Go into 3D window. Painter is turned on, and we can control from there various aspects of the the rendering engine to apply different techniques and processes. Finishing off the model nicely. That uh, concludes our spiral staircase.